of the burglary. Duarte High School's girls softball team needs your help tonight. All of their gear was stolen, but the players will not let the thieves steal their spirit. KCAL News reporter Candace Crone spoke to the team and tells us how you can help. The softball team is disappointed thieves would target their school. Their gear was locked up Friday evening, but when they returned Saturday, it was nowhere to be found. The game of softball is more than just a sport for Duarte High School's summer softball team. It's a passion. Honestly, the sports means everything to me. This is my whole life. I'm Alyssa Garcia is a proud member of the Colt 45s. She and her teammates are trying to stay positive despite thieves stealing from them last weekend. Coaches say the girls turned in their gear Friday around 4 p.m. It wasn't until the next day they noticed their shed was broken into and their equipment gone. They stole uh, 10 players' bags with all their equipment, bats, helmets, cleats, gloves, uh, the stuff they use on a daily. And um, yeah, they stole pro high school property as well from the school. So uh, it was tough to see. I was just very sad because, um, you know, it's our equipment and I'm very attached to my equipment. I love playing this game. Thieves stole both pitching machines valued at $2,500 each. The culprits also made off with about $1,700 worth of personal items per player. This is stuff that the girls actually did their own work to fundraise, raise money for, and buy themselves. You know, it's not something that was just handed out, you know. So it's, it's uh, very sentimental to them. There are cameras on campus, but none point to the shed that was burglarized. The coaches say they've heard of similar burglaries happening at San Gabriel and Whittier High Schools in recent months. They want local teams to be on guard after their recent theft. Players say while this incident was a minor setback, they won't let it ruin their bright season. I don't know why they did it. Um, I just hope they find them and just get we can get our stuff back and they face their consequences. So far, investigators do not have a description of the suspects. The team has set up a GoFundMe page to help replace the equipment that was lost. Reporting in Duarte, Candace Crone, KCAL News.